We wanted to make sure and give you the chance, uh, like we do with all our guests, to offer up a, a specific tip or a war story. A tip I would offer, which is, um, I feel like, I don't regretful maybe that I have to offer it, <laughs> but, but man, always read the statute, <laughs> you know, always go and read the text of the thing that you're arguing over. I've come in so many times to, um, to help on post-judgment motions or, or appellate matters where um, all the briefing below, you know, was just from case law and, and other stuff and not really focusing on the language of the actual statute or the language, you know, whatever the language is that's actually at issue. And so there's a lot of like, okay, let's back up. Let's zoom out for a second and just look at the language here uh, so that we can start crafting our argument from that. Um, so my, my tip is, yeah, just, you know, start with, start with where it starts. We read the provisions of the statute that apply in the case and start from there. I think we very often skip right to case law and, and other kind of research and stuff that we can, that we start digging in and making arguments from all of that. So that's, that's my not very groundbreaking tip, but yet surprisingly uh, needed, I think. Yep. <laughs> And, and read the other provisions around it, the section right. before, the section after, <laughs> make sure you right. know the context it sits in. And those statutory definitions of terms and mm -hmm. uh, all those kinds of things. You bet. Well, that is, uh, I think, better than you think it is, Jason, as far as a tip. We could all be reminded of that.